Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 8th, 9th, 10th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. How are you doing? We're going to have a great weekend, right? Right. Doesn't matter about that um, Mercury retrograde, Uranus going into Taurus. None of that matters. It's going to be great. Okay. So I'm using my Dorian Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Now let's see what's going on now for this weekend. Weekend, weekend, weekend. Okay, we're going to cut. All three cards are reversed. And to me, how I read the reversed is, whoa, pay attention to me. It's like cards screaming, hey, me, 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 look at me, please, look at me. Okay, so first card is the three of air. Okay, air is, of course, our, our Gemini, our Leo, Libra, oh my goodness, our Libra and our Aquarius. It's our Wi-Fi energy, it's our radio wave energy, it's the thought processes that are going through our heads. And this is the one, great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself or others. This is the, you know, this is one that I look at as, this is getting over past hurts, okay? This is the one where you look back and, you know, you think, you, you think about something that once was a little bit on the traumatic side or the dramatic side for you. Something that did hurt you, maybe even embarrassed you, okay? But it's over with, and for some reason, I'm not quite sure what it is, maybe because Mercury's retrograde and people from your past are coming back in. You know, that's one of the things Mercury tends to do. And maybe with that, it brings that icky type of feeling of something that might have happened in the past. But the thing is, the nice thing is about this is that it is over. It only relives itself when you bring it up. Okay, when you, when, or if somebody else brings it up too, but it only, you know, and, and right now, if it's somebody else that brings something up, oh, remember when, ha, 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 you know, you can just, you know, just be who you are and say, you know what, you know, I've outgrown that, I've outgrown that, okay, you know, I, I don't want to necessarily say, oh, you know what, that wasn't really funny, or you know, but because then people tend to like to use that against you, but just not going there. But, you know, maybe I've outgrown that or yeah, or just be very calm and say, yeah, that did have that did um, happen. It did happen. OK. I don't know. Let, let's see what these other cards say. Again, these are all reversed cards. This one is the Eight of Fire. Fire, now we have our Leo, our Aries and our Sagittarius events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things are happening at once. So are we going to have a bit a busy weekend? Is there going to be a lot of action going on over the weekend? So you have this one thing going on with the sadness that you're revisiting, that you're looking at from the past. That type of energy is coming forward. But yet at the same time, um, you know, it's kind of like, no, you don't have time to work with that anymore. You don't have time to stay there and deal with that anymore. Move on, move on, move on. I really feel for you that this is going to be a, this is going to be a busy energy weekend for you. Let's see what this last card says. The Knight of Earth, and there you are, okay? Your energy, loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind, time to buckle down and get things done, honoring your commitments, a guardian angel so again you know these are the two cards to really really focus on these are the, the energies that yes things are going fast you've got a lot of work to do you've got to go forward you've got to do you know basically you need about 20 uh, you need about what 48 hours in a 24-hour day type of thing that's that type of energy um, you know but again sometimes you're looking back and you might even be looking back with some regrets but this is more the past that you have to deal with or you have to look at it and let it go. Because really, the thing about this is, you know, lots of passion. 
This one is basically, you know, honoring your commitments, buckling down, guardian angel. So there is that divine element to this weekend for you. It's just getting, it's just, it's just kind of like just taking this and like regurgitating that out. Get, just get rid of that. Just get rid of that. Just have a very fast paced weekend. Have a very, um, actually I'm feeling, I'm feeling for you Virgos that it's going to be a very um, decisive weekend for you. It's going to have very decisive type of energy. And maybe that's what this, maybe that's what this is about. It's like you're making your, you're making your, you're making your decisions on this, but then this keeps coming up in the back of your mind. But like I said, let that go. You know, let, leave that one, let, let that go. That, let that go. You are very, very, very intelligent. You have your, you know, you're focused. You, you definitely do not need to, you know, bring up these past things. And if somebody tries to do that to you, get them out of your life. Okay? Okay. So, my Virgos, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.